Alrighty. My little anime bump here continues with uh, the Digimon Adventure movie, Our War Game. Now, originally I saw this one sandwiched uh, between Digimon Adventure the movie and the Digimon Zero 2 movie, Hurricane Touchdown, which essentially became the American theatrical one. Which, I went over all of that back when I reviewed Digimon Adventure, the movie, so I'm not going to touch into that right now. Other than to lament that I pretty much was watching this with the expectation that these movies were never going to exist outside their Digimon the movie form in America, but the same people that did uh, the release for uh, the Digimon Blu-ray have announced Season 2, which I'm waiting on eagerly, and the movies. So, but they also announced that as movies part one, so it makes me think they're going to keep going, and I'm all for that. All right. My Digimon uh, Adventure review ended up being a little abridged. There was something going on that I had to go attend to, so got a little distracted there. So I apologize for how short that one was. But, anyway. Speaking of short, Digimon Adventure, our war game, is also short, which is likely why it didn't come out as a full movie over here, because it is only 40 minutes long. And uh, I like the... It uses a similar animation style as the other Digimon Adventure movie, which is vastly different from the the uh, main series. It's a lot more minimalistic, but in that it's a bit stylized also, so it does work very well for it. It is... It's different, but not a bad way. So... Uh, this one is uh, set after the main series, after the kids have all returned to the real world and the Digimon are back in the digital world. But, well, a Digimon egg has slipped into the internet and has hatched and is now, well, devouring data and growing at an exponential rate and corrupting computer issues. It seems like this egg was like had a virus infected in it, so it's not even a normal Digimon either. So, uh, however, we're able to get... Agumon and Gabumon to in to fight it as uh, there's only a few people available to deal with this as there's kind of a summer vacation thing going on and most of the chosen children are beyond reach right now. And essentially they're trying to defeat this thing who mostly just seems to be maliciously playing before it, well, launches a bunch of missiles to destroy everything. It's it's already corrupted all the computer systems. Now, I will say the one advantage the dub has over the sub in this one is the the final form of this Digimon, Diaboromon, has a very deep, ominous voice in the dub. Go back. Kind of a cool thing going for it. While it is more or less silent other than this high pitched giggling laugh, which was creepy, I liked but the fact that the Digimon itself didn't really communicate or talk did seem to take away from it. It Having the more chatty villain like they did in the dub actually kind of worked in its favor, while this one did have a, more of an aura of menace, it did lose a bit of characterization. Overall, it's a short movie. It's and uh, they, this is the first time they introduced the Jogress Digivolution, or DNA Digivolving, as they later called it in the dub, where two Digimon fuse into one, creating, well, in the dub, Omnimon, or Omegamon in the sub. Which was a cool design that, the first time I saw it, it did get you really pumped up for it, so... It's an enjoyable film. It, it feels like a good extension of Digimon, and it doesn't really overstay its welcome, so uh, overall for me, I give the main series a 7. It's not quite as tight, and mostly because most of the cast is completely underutilized, since really you pretty much just have Taichi, Koshiro, and Yamato doing their thing while everyone else is in the background. I think uh, Mimi has like one scene, and Jonochi has like two, so they barely are even factoring in. So, that kind of knocks it down. I'll give it a six MacGuffins. It's fine. And, like I said, it's 40 minutes, so you're not wasting a lot of time on it. Uh, 
probably all I'm going to do on Digimon for a while since the I'm waiting for the Blu-ray release of the sub, which they just announced the release date for the dub, so usually it's like six months after that, so I might have about a year before I can get to Digimon Season 2. But I want to actually watch that one subbed because I never have, so I'm looking forward to it, and we'll get to it as soon as I can. But there's a lot in my backlog anyway, so it'll take me that long to get through it. So there we go. All right, avoid. Catch you later.